Hello everybody, this is Super Roboto. <sighs> I'm going to the cross, like always. I'm not gonna run, I'm gonna take my sweet time. Because right now, my body is not feeling it. I went to the cross yesterday, and my body still wasn't feeling it. Yeah, but I didn't record yesterday, which is a shame. But anyways, how you guys doing? Or something. Um, so far, it's been three days in Mexico. Ooh, those are tunas. But yeah, on the first day, I just barely got to the village. I was really tired. I didn't want to do much. So I pretty much went to an area to get myself a haircut. I got very short hair now. Oh look, those are, those are good stuff. But, damn. Gosh damn, only been a minute. And I walk pretty fast. Or unless I'm walking or something. Yesterday was freaking hot by the way. Like real hot. There's a little bit of smoke from there. Coming out from there. There was like a forest fire. My cousin told me like a week ago or something. Like, you know, one of them California ones. I don't know who started it or it must have been natural. Got some water. Gosh darn it. And the sun's coming up. You can see my shadow now. Oh, that sucks, man. Oh, the haircut was free. The guy felt so bad for cutting my hair because he said it looked very pretty. I tell him, but I want to cut it. Like, like I'm, I'm tired of taking care of it. And the guy's like, all right, man. He felt really down about it. But don't worry, my hair is going to grow back. If I remember right, I used to have like a big fro. And then I turned it into a, an alfalfa hair. And then eventually I turned in one of them like ponytail hair or something. It's pretty hard to take care of a guy's hair. But I'm gonna probably turn mine into a, a women's hair. Hopefully, hopefully it turns out right, you know? Oh man. I've been eating a bunch of so far, I got like about like a can of tunas, a bunch of can of tunas. In case I ran out of food, I could just get some tunas. You know, a can of tuna and start eating it. Or if I feel like eating or in the mood for eating some tuna, I could get some of that too. <sighs> However, I try to be very smart. How do I say it? I, I go to the restroom early in the morning or somewhere around the afternoon. Or at least like at four o'clock or five o'clock. And then I'm gonna start eating cheese. Anything that's like has any cheese food or anything, like quesadillas. Oh look at them. Look at them hawks right there. You can barely see them, but yeah. Yeah, they're flying right there. There's two of them chilling. They're probably vultures, man. I don't know. Yeah, they're hawks, they're hawks. They're chilling. Oh look, there's another one. Yeah, they were, they were really hanging out on that tree. But yeah, the only reason I want to eat some cheese in the so around like at six or seven, so I don't have to do the restroom at night. For those who don't know, um, I'm probably one of the few people who has a special toilet in Mexico. And it's one of those toilets that, that basically they make a big ass hole and put a toilet on it. And you just poop on it. But... Whenever it's nighttime, cockroaches just come out and play. You touch your booty hole. You don't want that. Even, even in the mornings, even if you do the restroom, there's a high chance of a roach just coming out just to touch it. Or, or put their cockroach face on their, on their disgusting feces, if you know what I mean. <sighs> Yesterday was pretty sunny, like very sunny. But today is like sort of windy and no sunlight. So, so you start seeing like a bunch of birds here and there. You can barely see them because, because I got a shitty phone. But yeah, you can barely see them. 
I don't have any internet or Wi-Fi at my house so it sucks I did find it I, I did manage to find a good spot to get some internet access but the connection is pretty slow oh man that means I couldn't play no love live games on my mobile you know like Nika Yozawa my Rin you know all those love like characters the fun ones right even Chica Chan if you want to add her but so I've been playing a bunch of PC games and I'm glad PC could play could be used for offline I've been playing a bunch of Neverwinter um, it's all right right now I got my character to level 16 my my clerk Neverwinter is kind of like D&D &D, but the, basically D&D &D, the game no no reading the papers no no character sheets you're actually playing the D&D &D, sort of think of it like a D&D &D adaptation what else <sighs> oh since I got my PC that means I'm able to how do I say it I, I, I'm able to connect my phone to the PC and put all my all my videos and a PC so I, could, so I could add more storage to the phone because I can only videotape like 16 minutes worth of video so once 16 minutes are up that's it I can't I can't do nothing much oh look at that oh no that's the brightness whoops how you zoom in you see that right there that's the type of my gay right there right now I'm pretty broke when I say broke so like two days ago I only had a dollar and a dollar is worth like 20 pesos and for the haircut it was worth 50 pesos I'm just glad it was free I'm probably gonna buy the guy some sweet bread as a thank you gift but yesterday I did some uh, I did some grass collecting or, or something. I don't know what they call, but they told you just to do this and that's it. I ended up getting like a hundred pesos, which is pretty good. Cool. But I end up wasting it on tacos, one servings of tacos. And one serving was 65 pesos. I found an extra five pesos. So I get them 105 pesos and I end up getting like 40 pesos back. So right now I got like 40 pesos. I might have to do some side jobs. Like, you know those out out outlaws I, I keep telling you about? Recall of my gaze. My gay is a special type of plant. It's one of the few plants that makes honey. You know beehives, right? They make honey, right? Like you know, you, you go hang you go hang out with the bee, you flirt with it, and then you're like, yikes, psych, steal the honey and run away. Or destroy the beehive like an evil bastard. <laughs> and, and take the honey. But or or you could you could grab some magaeus. So in case you're wondering, my gaze, it's like it's like a it's like a sweet honey water or something. And they and they're very expensive. But they're pretty hard to get. I know they're everywhere, like down right there, down right there. But the, but there's a twist behind it. How do I say it? Um, just by looking at them, they're they're pretty dry up. That means someone must have came here and grabbed some of the plant honey or honey plant. And it takes like, but if you want to make your own, I recommend you having a hundred of them or thousands even and take care of them because it takes 10 years to like like it takes 10 it, it, you, you can get these plants like really grown real quick but it takes 10 years to actually get honey off of it like like actual 10 years for it to start producing honey so but but people pay you a lot i'll say like like right there from my from my finger all the way to my thumb like that much of water i mean honey 
Yep, that's probably like 200 pesos. Or what's 200 pesos? Da, 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 da. I think 10 bucks, I think. Whew. Yeah, 10 bucks. Which is hell of a lot. Or you can start collecting mesquites. I'm probably gonna do that. For those who don't know, mesquite is, is like a special type of, it's like a food. I don't know, I, I, I think it's a fruit. It comes from a tree, so I think it's a fruit, but it doesn't look like one. They come from a tree, and how do I say it? If you have like a sack, like a, like a big giant sack of it, full of it, that's 250 pesos offer but but the sack needs to be full if it's halfway they're not gonna give you 250 pesos they're probably gonna give you like 50 pesos if it's like three-fourths full it's still gonna be 50 pesos and that's why people are recommending you to get like a full sack so you can get that 250 well it depends who who you're selling it to because i already know this one guy who always says it for 250 but the sack is pretty heavy. How do I say it? Like there's many ways to get a like mesquite this. You could probably like fill it up a half a sack, go home and put on a, like a bucket or something and then go back to start collecting more or fill it up with a big giant sack, a bunch of mesquites into one full sack. But going back home takes forever because it's heavy as hell. Oh man. Whew. Or I could do some snake hunting. I'm not sure if snake still has the value, but last time I checked, I think it was $250 or $200 to catch a, a live rattlesnake. If someone wants it alive, it's $200. But if you know someone that likes, that's into making some snake food, then you can sell the meat for the guy. I don't know how much though, but then you sell the skin to someone else for like a hundred dollars or or 300 pesos is one of those two. And then I don't know why, but people are into rattlesnakes. Like the, the rattle, the rattle tail. You could probably sell it for like, I don't know, probably like 20 bucks on it too. Whew. Well, yeah, man. Uh, um, 12 minutes and 13 seconds. I mean, 13 minutes. Not bad. I'm gonna sit down. Damn, bro, look how foggy it is. It's because it's very windy. Oh, by the way, in case you can see it, do you see? Do you see that little smoke coming out from there? There's actually smoke. Like, not actual dust, no dirt, but that's actual smoke. Like I said before, my cousin told me there was like a forest fire or or a mountain fire or something like that. And yeah, they told me, I think they put it down though. Unless the fire's still going, then yikes, man. That sucks to be them. Oh, man. Oh, shit. I forgot. I, I remember marking my name right here. Do I still got it? Hell yeah. Mine has the little R and the little Chinese smiley face. It's not a smiley face, but that's how I actually smile in real life. I'm not, well, you know, whenever I make that silly face, you know? Oh man. Flowers are, are pink today. Damn, look at them smoke right there. Yikes. It's gonna be a pain to go down and start fuming all of that. Uh, oh, I didn't get the end though, so that's good. Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Oh man. Oh, God damn it. Shit, it's too windy. Um, this is Super Roboto, walking off.